this here is a tree. I'm sure you all know that by now. Yeah, and as you can see, this huge organism, trees are organisms? Seems to have a very large stem. And way up there, it has branches and leaves. The leaves are green in color. But what about the stem? The stem is not green in color. And it seems to be made up of something which is dead. I don't think there's life in this part of a tree. This outer covering which is dead is known as a bark. And it's fascinating how not all plants are of the same kind. That one there, this plant is a shrub. Doesn't it look like a baby tree? I mean, that one was a tree. This one has leaves that are green in color. It has a stem, a woody stem, and it's brown in color. But it's fundamentally different from that tree in that it's, it's really tiny. I mean, that tree was what, about 20 times bigger than I was. And uh, if you notice in all of these, the branches start very close to the ground and it's a very interconnected network of branches. So we have trees and we have shrubs. This, these are called herbs, another kind of plants. And as you can see, herbs are green from the bottom to the top. And it has a very slender stem, unlike the trees and the shrubs. Doesn't seem to have too many branches either. And is really, really tiny. Mind you, not all herbs are necessarily tiny, but most of them are all green in color. So we had trees, we had shrubs, and we had herbs. There are other kinds of plants. Let's just go have a very quick look at them. These plants here that you see, the ones that are holding on to this support structure and climbing upwards are well called climbers. And the ones here, which are similar to those climbers, but are seeming to extend long regions on the ground are called creepers. These plants, again, are green in color. So we've seen trees, shrubs, herbs, creepers, climbers, there are another couple variety of plants. Unfortunately, I walked around all these places. I can't really show you a visual of these plants. So the animation team, could you please just pop it up for me? Anytime now. Algae and mosses. You might recognize them from your trips to the riverside, to the seaside. See these dirty little green things that are floating on the water or stuck to the rocks, stuck to those wet surfaces? Yes, those are algae and mosses. Mind you, don't think of them as dirt. If you recollect, it was algae that brought the oxygen levels up in the atmosphere back then, and land animals came into existence because of that. In fact, algae produces 60% of all the oxygen we have in our atmosphere. We can't imagine a world without algae. 